Hi guys, my name is Kara Gibbons and I'm with 1829, our young adults community at Kensington. And today I wanted to do a mini Devo with you. And I wanted to focus on this word called positivity. And it's not a word that we may be hearing a lot lately with everything going on, but I for one definitely need it during this time because I naturally can go into a really negative headspace on my own. I don't even need a coronavirus. I just go there on my own. So if that's you, then I hope this is gonna be helpful because again, it's really easy to go into a negative space and then add something like this and it could feel like we're just down in the dumps all day long. And so I wanted to read you this verse that I think we all should memorize. So maybe you wanna memorize it with me, but it's Philippians 4.8 and it says, and now dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Now, at this point, again, it can feel like this positive idea seems like it's far-fetched, but I really believe if we meditate on the word, if we meditate on what's pure and good and excellent and true and lovely, then there is something that God has for us. And even if that's writing down something positive that you're grateful for every single day, what a difference that can make. For me, I recently got engaged and it's been kind of crazy thinking about having a wedding because I was thinking about getting married in three months, which I know. But now those plans have gone a little bit, you know, awry. So it may look different, but I woke up this morning just really grateful that I even had someone. I think a year ago, I would have been grateful to even be engaged. So there's there's so many things that we can look at and see it through the lens of, I can't believe this is happening to me. I can't believe this is happening to my family. I can't believe this is happening in my life right now. Or maybe God's doing something in your life. And I hope it doesn't sound too cliche because I really believe that it's possible that God can turn everything around. So if you're in a state of negativity, I urge you to read this scripture and meditate on it and even memorize it. And I'll read it one more time and then I'll just pray for us and let you go and into this world that seems negative, but you can be the positive light in it. And again, it's Philippians 4.8. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Let's pray. God, I thank you for today. I thank you that it was a beautiful day with birds chirping. I loved hearing the children outside and playing. And I know things are tough right now for a lot of us, but God, I know that you have a plan for us and you have a way of turning everything around and making it good. So help us to focus on those things. I know it's very easy for us to go into a negative headspace, but God, pull us out of that space and help us to focus on you. Help us to not care what others think. Help us to not even care what we think, but only care about and focus on what you think. So Lord, just meet us here where we're at, whether it's in our room, in our cars, wherever it is. God, meet us here and bring us peace. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you very soon.